Hey folks, Doxy here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build the updated version of my Tower Darkroom Mob Spawner. And this Darkroom is the centerpiece for a multiple part tutorial series that I am doing that processes mobs for the harvesting of experience and items. But right now for this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to build one of these dark rooms. In this dark room, there's a couple of things about it that are kind of nifty. One is that it is modular, so you can build it as high as you want or on any sort of footprint that you want, and that it does not allow Endermen to spawn. Another interesting thing about it is that there are a maximum of 16 blocks that mobs need to travel to get to the central collection point and that the majority of spawning spaces right at this level here are right next to a transportation water flow. And with that, I'm going to be showing you how to build it. Now the first thing you need to do is locate your center. And once you've located your center, you want to build two platforms in opposite directions that are eight by three. And then you want to build one level up from there, a platform that is eight, uh, eight deep in both directions. This is the level where your tributaries are going to be located. Once you get to this point, you'll want to build a three high wall all the way around the entire thing. And once you get this completely marked off, you'll be wanting to designate where your channels are. And your channels alternate every other block uh, and make sure that the center, if you want to do this right, has a partition right here where your center hole is. And once you get to this point, you'll want to build your walls around this. Your walls are just too high, the height of your mom. At this point, you'll probably want to fill in the channels with water. One block in the tributaries and three wide in the main arterial. Now the quick way to fill your water is to grab your two buckets of water. I'm in creative right now, so you won't quite notice this, but you want to put one in both corners and this creates an infinite spring and you can just take water from this cinder block right here. Now you're almost done with the floors at this point. There's one very critical point that you need to build if you're going to be building any floors above this one and that is to build right exactly here so that there's a space behind here and it doesn't go into the 3 by 3 hole. Two more platforms that are 3 by 8 and this is where you are going to start to build your next floor. Now your next floor up is going to be exactly like this one, using these two platforms as your starting point, exactly like we did the floor underneath it. And you can build this as high as your heart or the sky limit will allow. Now once you get to the height that you want. Make sure that you put a roof on it. Now as you can hear, we have mobs spawning immediately in there. Yeah, look at them. Now if something in this video confused you, here is a level by level walkthrough of how to build this floor. and with a grid in case you want to see what the spacing is. Finally, I'd like to note that if you really want to, this world file is available for download from Planet Minecraft 
The link is in the description. And if you're interested, I have other videos on how to build this mob tower underground, how to make this tower modular and expand it laterally, a more linear version of the mob towers, which I'm going to use when I reboot my single player world, and how if you really, really, really want to, can implement a lighting system to turn mob spawning on and off. And then once you have the mob spawning room of your choice, I have videos on how to sort the mobs, how to transport the mobs, how to crush the mobs, and how to automate the crushing of those mobs. And with that, I'm going to leave you the links, give you a couple seconds to click them, and then say goodbye. Goodbye.